Hello my little apples and welcome back to another vlog. You guys, I've been trying to get back on my vlog game and so you, if you decide to keep watching, will be hanging out with me today while I do whatever it is that I do. I just got back, well actually last night, I got back from the airport um, at my parents' house and I stayed there for a couple hours while I was like washing some clothes and like I was just exhausted and I was really sleepy so I knew that I wouldn't make it to the drive back to my apartment and so I just slept a couple hours over there and then now I'm over here and I'm unpacking which is the most tedious thing in the world I'm like just playing around with my probiotics bottle anyway um, I actually got my camera out because I wanted to show you guys my Thrive Market package came in so what do we got in this box so it's basically like a grocery haul pretty much but I didn't go anywhere Thrive Market just sent it to me because I ordered it and that's basically what happens with Thrive Market okay so one of the most important things ever, cacao nibs. I was running out of cacao nibs, which are basically like the cocoa bean itself, and then it's just like fragmented into different pieces. Really, really high in antioxidants, high in magnesium, has a nice chocolate taste, and a really good crunchy add-on to like smoothies, smoothie bowls, and stuff. I mean, if you guys follow me, then you already know like why I love cacao nibs so much, but in case you're new here, in which case... And I also got natural calm magnesium. I did not know that there was an orange flavor, so I had to try it. Ooh, look at this. I got a little sample of probiotic probiotics that thrive. Daily digestive debt balance probiotic. And I just talked about my probiotic too. And this is vegan. That's cool. It's free of dairy, wheat, gluten, soy, artificial flavors, colors, binders, or fillers. So I'm definitely gonna try this out because I've been playing around with probiotics lately. I got some baby wipes, also Thrive Market brand. Thrive Market has like their own like name brand stuff. It's kind of to cut the cost and also so that they can control their own values in it. This is important for the bathroom business, guys. Very important. Oh yeah, yeah, I also got toilet bowl cleaner. By the way, all of Thrive Market's plastic stuff is all recyclable and it has been reused. So for those of you who are gonna ask me about plastic and stuff, like it's all recyclable. My toilet bowl sometimes gets thug nasty, so toilet cleaner. That's it for me. Time to continue unpacking, but thanks for hanging out with my grocery haul. Okay, but how satisfying is it when you see that everything fits perfectly into the mason jar at the very top? Look at these beautiful cacao nib pieces. They're huge. I have fallen in love with Grey's Anatomy once again. I've been watching Grey's Anatomy since high school, so literally like Four years later, I am still in it. I'm currently on season 13. I don't know if this is like the latest season, but I'm just catching up on Netflix. And basically what I've been done in the past couple of hours where, actually it's only like 8.45 right now in the morning. I've just been trying to be productive right now. <laughs> so I turned on the TV, started watching Grey's Anatomy. I crocheted a bunch. I swear, I'm gonna spend all my freaking money on yarn because I just can't stop. I don't know what it is, so I'm making this really nice blanket, which I'll show you guys later because I don't really feel like getting up, but I'm also folding my laundry and watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm just having a good time with life right now, so <laughs> basically today's like a little me time catch up day, do a couple errands type of thing. Um, I also have a bunch of these, I don't know where I'm going with telling you all this, it's just I don't have a friend to hang out with right now and that's okay I like my alone time but I also like sharing what I'm doing with you guys so maybe that's why vlogging just works out so well for me but my sister gave me a bunch of different magazines like there's this whole stack right here so I want to remake my vision board because I have a vision board from a couple years ago and obviously as you grow and evolve you start to create more wants and desires and so I think after I have lunch with a couple of my friends I'm gonna go to the store get more yarn because I ran out and that's why I'm not crocheting anymore and um, probably get a, a board and glue. Oh no, no, I have glue. So just a board so I can make my vision board. And I really should edit a video today. But that's really all that's on my to-do list today and it feels really nice. Like, is this what you do when you don't have school? I, I just finished up arm day at the gym and now I'm about to go meet up with some friends for lunch. And I actually initially took out my camera to complain about the fact that Oh my gosh, the one day I need to go out and do errands and run around outside is when it 
is raining. Usually I hate the rain. Like I don't like feeling wet and cold and uncomfortable and damp clothes and I I don't like being outside when it's raining and I just like always complain whenever the rain comes out. But as I was reaching for my camera, I realized that rain is such a blessing. I don't mean to be like super cliche because you guys, I am struggling to be okay with this because I hate the rain so much. But last week my mom was dropping me off at the airport it was raining and i wanted to like oh, mumble and grumble and complain about it but my mom was like oh it's raining thank you lord and it like just that little expression made me change the way that i thought about it it's raining good it's not raining good either way thank you for letting me experience this part of nature and also southern california has been dry af these past couple years so it raining it's just a good thing and I feel like rain is just a sign of like life and water is vitality and all that stuff and I would just be complaining about rain because I'd be in damp clothing because I'd feel cold and uncomfortable when in reality rain is so good for the earth it's so good for the environment and after the rain my favorite part is actually when it's done and the air just feels so nice and clean and breathable just remembering my mom saying oh it's raining thank you lord i just i can play it in my head and i hear it over and over again it makes me it kind of forces me to flip the switch and be like anything bad or anything unfortunate or something that we don't want that happens in our lives if you say thank you for that it just shifts your entire mindset to be like okay this is happening, thank you. It's teaching me to be a better person, it's teaching me to be more patient, it's teaching me to appreciate nature, and as much as I will not enjoy running around doing errands in the rain and getting damp and whatever, I know that I will survive, and I know that you know it is a blessing to have a body that can do all these things. It's a blessing to live in this world where I am able to do this, even in the rain, and like it's not acid rain, so it's cool that I get to go outside and I'm like, oh, it's just air. So anyway, I thought I would just share that little tidbit before I go on and also my arm is just getting really tired from holding up this camera. Lesson of the day today, just say thank you. Even if you don't feel grateful, even if it's not a good thing or a good circumstance, say thank you and just see what happens. Maybe nothing will happen, but nothing will happen unless you try to be grateful for whatever circumstance that you're in. So yeah, time to go on with life. I feel like a little child with all of my snacks. I got some frozen grapes and some nuts, apple, and some crackers. Here I am with my magnesium drink. Um, this is an orange flavor. This is, well, this is the one that I showed you guys in my Thrive Market little haul thing. As you can see, I am back at my parents' house and I'm wearing many multiple layers. And the reason for that is because I had to drive home with my window open because today, for some reason, as I was running errands out and about, um, somebody decided to smash my window open, like smash it in, and they were trying to steal something or like steal whatever was in my car of all things my car of all cars there are so many different cars in the parking lot it just had to be mine but anyway the security guard who was waiting for me told me that somebody was watching the person who was like trying to break into my car and so the person saw and then he just like ran away so he didn't have time to like take anything out and then the person who like the witness told the security guard and the security guard just literally stood in the middle of the parking lot like waiting for me to get to the car and then told me about the whole thing. I called my dad and then he was like, just come home tonight and uh, we'll get it fixed tomorrow. And so that's why I am here once again. At first I was like, man, this sucks. Like why my car? And then I couldn't even be mad. Like I got to my apartment and one of my friends was like, you're not mad about it? Like that sucks. Those people are such dicks. And I'm like, yeah, it kind of sucks that somebody would want to do that to another person, but I also understand that that person must be really desperate for, I don't know, whatever they need 
um, that they need to stoop down so low as to ruin someone else's property but at the same time i also know that no matter what happens whatever the person's circumstance might be like that event already happened so what point is there in being upset or sad or i don't know any other negative emotion about it like it happened so what are the steps now to fix it because i mean as mad as somebody can be, I just don't want to be upset. I don't want to be angry. Like I told you guys earlier, like, I guess every circumstance is, as long as you say thank you, you can always find a positive to it. I had my gym bag in there, and so I'm just thinking, thank goodness that that person decided to run away and not take anything from my gym bag because I would be really sad if my belt were gone, my resistance bands were gone, my water bottle were gone. Like, I love my water bottle. You guys see me use it all the time. And thank goodness that it was just my window and not like my whole entire door or thank goodness it was just my window and not my windshield so that way I would be able to drive still I don't know what else I want to share about this I just feel like it was a really unexpected turn I really wanted to be lazy at my apartment and just like crochet the blanket and watch the rest of Grey's Anatomy by the way I have one more episode until season 13 is finished and then season 14 is still airing so it's not on Netflix so I won't be watching that anymore like finally I'll kind of be caught up on Grey's Anatomy but the point is like I had plans for myself tonight and that all had to change because of this one thing but I guess it's fine there's still a lot more to do this weekend so I'm really excited for that and so that's all I have to say and I want to drink my magnesium drink and just relax before before tomorrow's events so good night i really like this orange flavor i am digging this orange okay. hi good morning good morning friends my friends hi mama we are going to arizona with rachel and steve hello hi hi we are going to Arizona today for, huh? Zippo. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't know we were already moving. I didn't know we were already moving. <laughs> You're so careful, Steve. Yeah, he doesn't let me, he doesn't leave until I have my zippo on. What a great guy. What a catch. You like him? What, what a catch. Do you like me? <laughs> Sometimes. Really? Cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, we have those moments. <laughs> so we're going to Arizona to get our hair done. Literally. Literally. That's yeah. Literally, that's it. Because Jackie is out there. You guys know Jackie. And she does hair. And she Wedding does a good job. Vegetarian is this awesome t-shirt brand that has funny punny veggie shirts that just like spread veganism in a really cute way It's like activism shirts almost but in a way that's not so in your face So this is actually my collab shirt that I'm wearing right now. You guys can't see it that properly um, But it says don't be eye candy be soul food Which aligns a lot with my message of like just being more than what you see on the outside and really taking care of what's on the inside <laughs> Vegan Street Fair. Hi! Hi! Hello, I'm Amanda. 
really fun. There were so many people and I got to say hi to a couple of you. So thank you guys for coming to say hi. I'm about to sit down to my meal, which is just this throw together. You guys already know the drill about, I don't know, just eat it. But steamed veggies, romaine. This is bonza pasta. These are like the wheels. They're super cute. Just made out of chickpeas. Pasta made out of chickpeas, so it's high in protein. And then I put sesame seeds on top. And then the sauce is just like a pasta sauce mixed with tahini, which is so good. If you guys haven't mixed tahini and pasta sauce together, you really need to. I'm probably going to put some nutritional yeast on top of it, but that's usually like after I start eating. Before I start eating and before I sign off, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be the end of the video, I just wanted to share with you guys that my Instagram got hacked. And there are just so many things going on in my mind right now that I just want to say. But I found out that my Instagram got hacked at Vegan Street Fair. Like, I don't know who did it or like where they did it. But when I found out I was at Vegan Street Fair, I was literally on my phone on Instagram. And then I went to use the restroom and then I came back. And as I was walking back, I went on my phone and it said that my account, like I, lo I was logged out of my account. And then I tried logging back in. My password didn't work. I tried sending an email to myself. It didn't work. And then I got emails on my account saying that my email account on the profile was changed and my phone number was changed as well. So I had no way to access it. Even if I tried to reset my password, it would be sent to an email that I have no access to. I sent a claim into Instagram and just waiting on them. And I'm sure something will happen. Like if my Instagram account is meant to come back to me, then it will come back. If it's not, then I'm already trying to see ways in which that this is a blessing like I can focus more on my YouTube I can create a new Instagram. I can create a new me. I feel a really big Catharsis happening within me and my life right now and maybe this is a good thing Maybe this is just a hoop for me to jump through to get to like my ultimate path and maybe letting go of that old Instagram Was what I was meant to be doing so I could focus on other things or maybe it's just a challenge for me to keep faith in the universe and believe that everything will work out fine. I really believe that something will work out well for me and whether or not I get it, I'm already like accepting either or choice. I would love to get my Instagram back and I really do love being on Instagram and social media but at the same time, um, I'm okay with nothing happening at all. I'm okay with it not coming back to me because I have learned I need to learn actually. I'm in the process of learning not to put my worth into all the work that I do because in a day or two it could collapse, in a second it could collapse and I want to start putting my worth into myself. Whatever in my life doesn't work out, I don't want to put my worth in those things. I don't want to put my whole entire like meaning of life into those things. I want to put my meaning of life into me. I am the holder of life. We all are. We all are an essence of life and I think we forget that and we put parts of our souls and parts of our hearts into objects that don't really return that into objects that really aren't us and so i don't really want to let that define me and that's why maybe i'm more okay with it i just want to use my platform to change people i want to use my platform to help people so i will keep you guys updated on that expect to see more youtube videos because this is where i'm a being so you know how this happened and then my car window got smashed in i was like why are all these things happening to me right now like what is going on and then i realized well i didn't realize i was on twitter and then i saw that somebody posted about mercury in retrograde and then i looked when was mercury in retrograde it started on Thursday, Thursday night, the night that my car got jammed in. Is this a coincidence or is this just like astrology for real, you know? I have to call my sister about it because both of us are kind of like astrology freaks and freak out about it with her. <laughs> That's all that I wanted to say. I want to thank you guys for the unending love and support that you bring to this channel and the positivity that you bring into the world. You guys are changing everybody around you. And I also want to thank you for the love that you give me and the support that you give me and for subscribing and liking and commenting on videos if you're a commenter and if you're a silent watcher, I really appreciate you as well. Um, I don't ever want to end a video without you guys knowing how much I appreciate you in the world. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Turn on notifications if you want to stay updated on my life that is going on, especially through Mercury in retrograde. Retrograde, I cannot speak right now. Anywho, hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.